Good afternoon. Can you tell me your name, please? My name is Gary McFadden. And can you tell me what's your affiliation? I work for the Charlotte Mecklenburg Police Department as a homicide detective for the last 20 years. Okay. And why have you come today to speak to the Emerging Leaders um, Mentorship Program? Someone gave them my name and asked me to come and talk with the boys, and I decided to take part of my day, which is the Friday, and drive up to Concord and speak with these young men it's because I see so much of violence in the neighborhoods and each day I work, and so I just want to discourage some of the violence. And what message did you, I know you um, spoke with them for a long time and they seem to be well received since I could hear them um, clapping. What message did you present to them today? I showed them um, the avenues of life, especially for their age brackets, 15 to 34, that is the number one cause of black men is homicide. Uh, and I spoke to them about that and how these things happen and what they shouldn't do and how they can curb the violence in their own neighborhoods and among their friends. Um, and I showed them um, films of murder scenes, um, showed them what I actually do working with the bodies. Uh, I showed them how one young man was kidnapped and the end results that we found him. Um, and those things did touch the kids and some kids were very receptive. Some kids got a little emotional and, uh, and that's what I want to bring. I wanna, really want to touch their hearts. So even though I can't save all of them, I hope I can save enough of them. Did you scare fear into them, you think? I think yes. Um, and I wouldn't say so much fear to show them the super educated version of what they really live each day. And I think they'd really realize that today is given to them and, you know, and they should cherish that day. And tomorrow, uh, they, they could not be here by the choices that they make. So I think that they got the message. And what, do, what in addition to that, what do you think that uh, how this is going to change them for, um, you know, for their future lives? Well, one young man, a couple of guys talked to me after that, and he's struggling with being with his friends now who are in gangs. And I said, these people still can be your friends, but you don't have to be with them doing the gang activities. But encourage them as you talk to them not to be in gangs because you don't want to lose them. You know, they're your friends and you don't want to, you're tired of going to funerals and you're tired of people dying. And I'm hoping that they'll take the message back and say, look, I saw this crazy guy who was yelling and screaming at us and, and I remembered him. But I told them, they also have to remember if something happens to one of them and I pick up the paper, it would definitely bother me and all the people who are working here so hard during the summer. Okay. Any lasting uh, messages that you would want to present to the young men that would carry them into the future? I would stay focused. Take what you get from this program, and in 5, 10, 15 years, I want you to be the person standing up saying the same thing that we're doing because somebody did it for us. We are only just giving you the baton to move forward and hand it off to somebody else, and we want you to do the same thing that we're doing. Well, I certainly appreciate your time uh, and your wisdom that you're sharing with us, and thank you again, sir. Thank you.